Hey guys, so in today's video, we are gonna be messing around with the Arma Felony. I am gonna be putting a light kit on it. I have one from Polo Creations. I've actually had it for a while and I just didn't get around to putting it to my felony and I am ready to get back working on this car because I really enjoy driving it and I wanna customize it and make it a little cooler than it already is. These are different components that come with it. These right here actually go in th this little part right there. These are the harnesses for the lights that go in the smaller circle. The actual lights themselves, that's these right here. You have the headlights, you have the tail lights. These are different components for it. This right here is a remote, is this remote controlled? And it has, these right here go on the bottom of the felony. They're like ground lights. I'm not gonna put these on. I, I'm, I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't think I am. I don't think I'm gonna quite enjoy those. But I am going to put these together. This right here is 3D printed. All this is 3D printed. It's going to look pretty good when it's on the felony, even though it does have print lines and stuff like that. But that's not going to be too much of an issue, I don't think. The first thing we need to do is prep the body. I'm going to have to cut the headlights out at the stickers. And I'm going to cut a hole there and a hole there. And then we can start putting everything together. I'm not exactly sure what holes this on. So I'm going to start taking stuff off until it comes apart. So two millimeter screw down the side of there. Feels like it's this screw right here. Yep. All that comes right off. We got to cut that hole and that hole out on both these sides. So I'm going to use a body reamer to get it started. This is a very expensive tool. It was $45. So if you don't have one, you can use a drill or just whatever and see if we can get this, try to get it in the center. Hey, Charlie. You want to help? Now I have them starting on that side. I'm going to come in on this side right here. Don't know exactly how much to trim out on there. And you can kind of guide it. So whenever you're spinning it, you can push it in the direction you want it to go. Like I'm giving it force to go that way. So it recenters the hole a little bit better. As you get close, be sure you keep test fitting it so you don't take too much off. And I got it perfect on that side. And this one here is a tad tight, but that's okay. This one still slides out, but I got to do those. And I'm actually going to do those with the Dremel. I'm going to finish those off. I have this bit right here. This is a cutting bit. Don't use grinding bits. You've got some bits that are grinders like, like this bit right here grinds. And so it's like a sandy type bit. That's not what you want. You want one that cuts a bit like this or a bit like this. It's going to cut right through that Lexan. Let's do a test fit real quick. That's almost, it almost fits. Perfect. Almost. Perfect. These little nuts screw on back here. By looking at the size of this right here, it fits just inside that glow. So there's like a white edge for the light. There's a little glow effect around it. And this covers up exactly where that white glow is so you've cut everything out that's inside the white glow that's gonna fit start both these with the body reamer we're gonna use this cone shaped bit to get it started Um, use this bit right here to finish it off. 
it doesn't have to be perfect because it actually covers up the light actually covers up the edges so what i mean by that is there's like a little lip right there everything comes out of the back of these pieces so you can use them to help guide you and line it up and then eventually you keep working at it and it'll slide right in we got it in that one so that's yeah let's clean this get this cleaned up and take it back over there and get all this lights these lights hooked up yeah careful don't let it pull the sticker down in there with it so just try to do that with me i have it pretty tight a pretty tight fit which is what i want that way it doesn't come out or anything the actual lights themselves go in like that we have these little caps that go in the back of them now to put the rear tail lights on it's actually pretty easy we're going to take off the rear spoiler the rear tail lights they go like that yeah so I'm going this side. Yeah, I'm gonna get some longer screws for that. I'm not gonna do it today. But I'm gonna get some longer screws to hold those on. These little lights right here, they go down inside of there, but they don't really stick or hold or anything like that. So what we're gonna do, we're actually going to, oh, get that lamp out of my way is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some hot glue down there and see if we can get it to stay a little bit on the other side trying to touch the wire with the heating element try to straighten them up as it cools while we're here i'm going ahead and tack a little bit of glue on there i don't know what my wife's doing out downstairs making a racket isn't she i'm gonna run these wires past everything and put the foam bumper back in there to hold those wires down you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run these wires down the driver's side or should i do the passenger side or i'm gonna put this piece right here i gotta think of where i want to put this piece right here the receiver is over here this is going to be over here so everything needs to come down the passenger side so i'm running these wires down the passenger side all right we're gonna use a little bit of electrical tape to put these wires and hold them down the bumper hopefully all that works Oh no, that's a horrible spot. Look what I just did. All right, I redid all that. We got it coming out right there now. So maybe now I won't feel so stupid about it coming out right in front of the tire. <laughs> Here, I have all the wires and stuff running up through there. And I'll probably, I don't know, zip tie them or something right there. But we're gonna put all this together and see where everything goes before we make it more permanent. Pretty sure all of these wires right here plug up into one of these right here. And this probably plugs into one end of this. So you're gonna have like six connections there, six connections there. So it'll be two here, or I mean three here and, and three there. That screw, that screw, that one right there and one behind there will get you into the receiver box. Let's see, where do the wires come out at? Over on this side over here? So we're gonna plug this one into there. We'll put it into the last, very last one. And black goes all the way to the right from this point of view to the inside of the car. I'm not sure how it comes across on camera, but I got it all the way that way, black on that side. Take these two wires, we're gonna shove them right down to that crease right there. Let's screw everything back together. All right, we got everything wired up. This is a spider web of, of a mess. So we're gonna turn it on. And I do actually have it up on blocks, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And nothing's in. Let's just test around it and see what happens. Everything seems to work. All the tail lights and everything else, awesome. The fog lights and everything, awesome. Where's the remote? Pull this before flight and my battery went dead. So before we do anything else, we're gonna actually glue these pieces right here on. I'm gonna use a little, I'm not using super glue, it's a CA glue. I really don't want these 
glued on too, too terribly tight, I wouldn't be able to get these off. If I thought about it, I would have cut a hole in these for a wire. I don't know why they don't have holes in there already, but whatever. Okay, so I spent a lot of time trying to figure out the best way to do this with what we have. I, I want to rewire all this. This is just temporary stuff just until I, I figure out exactly what I want to do. The way I have this ran, so it comes with this, these two of these three-way splitters. So I have both headlights wires running to the end of one of them. And I've got one of the tail lights running to the end of that one. And then I've got the other tail light running to this one. And I've got the front lights plugged into that one. So I got two in this one and I got three in that one. So two headlights, one tail light. All three of those plug into one of those and one tail light into that. And so on the front here, I got the, um, I don't know if you call that a receiver or what it is, but I got it tucked right there for now. And I got the wires ran up all through there. And so I got the uh, both head, no, both fog lights or the big lights, whatever you call those, both of the big lights on the front are right there. And the here is the one for the little beady ones, the little bee lights. So the way you have to do this, the way that I'm doing it, is that first you get this part of the body close and you gotta plug this one in, make sure you get the right one. And this is this is a bunch of nonsense right here. They should have this is this is poorly thought out. They didn't think this through very well, I don't think. Unless I'm doing something really, really wrong, I don't know. And then this plugs into right like this. Oh, yeah, I see it's already coming loose. Come on. Okay. And now everything is, is plugged up. So now I gotta plug all that again so that I can, I can put the batteries in and we can actually drive it or something. Those lights are really bright. <laughs> they are they are really bright. The tail lights too. The tail lights look that looks that looks so good filling those spaces up. So it's wireless, so let's oh it works from here. That's good. So power back on. What is, I don't know what all these are, let's see the light, you can change the brightness. Oh yeah, you can lower the brightness by a lot. Oh, that looks, that looks pretty good having in that color. So can you just, oh, you can instantly, that's cool. It's got a 100%, uh, 50%, and 25% on there. Mode, so I guess that changes the mode, okay. You can change the speed of the modes. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's weird. They all seem to be very different types of flashing. That one's interesting how it's got the kind of the pulsing colors going on. Okay, I think that is, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna use those different modes. There's no reason for me to use those different modes. So, uh, and the tail lights don't work independently or anything like that. All the lights work together. So you can't like have the headlights separate than the tail lights. None of that works like this. So it's not like the Bronco where you can do like turn signals and stuff like that. You'd have to have a, a different piece of hardware for it. But uh, let's drop it around a little bit. So you guys probably can't see this like I can. But it looks, it looks really good. mess for the brightness can you guys see anything i don't know i'm going to find out when i get this in the editing so let's change the uh that's 100 percent 50 percent and 25 percent you probably can't tell um as far as what you can see in front of it from the the light it's not really a directed light so let's see 100 percent come on i think there's a range and it's not very long so you gotta be it seems like you gotta be pretty close to the car to to do it that bright, you can see it from a long way away, but it doesn't really shine like forward. Does that make sense? I don't know, I can see my shadow. Oh, you can't see anything. I can see my shadow. Okay, so you see, this is where the garage is, and that's where the felony is sitting at right here from my garage. And I can see my shadow on my uh, shop uh, rooftop. You probably can't see it. The, camp, the GoPro doesn't pick up uh, low light situations, but that, that, that's pretty far. The light is bright but 
it, it's not very useful. I just walked down my driveway. I didn't film any of it because you can't see anything on camera anyways. I walked down the driveway, I came back, and yeah, I mean, you can see the car from a mile away, but you really can't see that much in front of it. The light just isn't very useful light. And even when I came up here and I was driving back up to the garage, the garage was dark because the light turned off automatically and it just, I mean, you really couldn't hardly see what was in the garage because the light just isn't, it's not very useful. It's, it's only really concentrated right there at the source. So you're not going to, I don't know, I'm going to take it out tomorrow right as it's getting dark. Uh, it took longer than I thought it was going to take to, um, to film this video today. I'll take it out tomorrow and we'll go to the park and we'll drive around around dusk and we'll see like how useful it actually is out in the big parking lot out here. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty dark wherever my night light isn't shining. So, but yeah, let's see what happens tomorrow, I guess.